we're back. We've eaten McDonald's. Life is hell. Yeah, we watched Mickey D. We watched Steve Harvey scream sex mm -hmm. and boner and hey, don't forget piss. the don't forget the the girls honking at us. Yeah, some chicks honking at us. We don't know, weird. We saw someone who recognized at least one of us haunted us in the McDonald's parking lot. We did not see who it was. So. Yeah, I didn't. Haunted waved. I don't, yeah. I don't. I don't. They didn't look recognizable. So. I mean, uh, their their windows were tinted. There could have been someone else in the backseat that see, we didn't recognize. See, no, well, right. here's the thing about them. Those two motherfuckers, they went through the drive-thru, and then they pulled up, sat down there, and I saw them eating when we were getting out of the car the first time. <laughs> they were waiting to see us. I don't know who it was, though. Mm, I don't know. Weird. Anyway, so we're talking about E3 still. Yee. This time we're going to talk about the third-party press conferences, because we <laughs> talked about all the console manufacturers yep. already. Now for the uh, extraneous... Uh, pressers. So <coughs> we'll start with EA because mm -hmm. we're just gonna kind of go. Well, they did that one first. They did that Saturday this year. That's weird. Yeah. I, don't, um, I don't like it. Battlefield One. I have no feelings. It's, it's they, the DLC. They like teased an expansion. The, the DLC look cool. Yeah, I don't play neat. Battlefield yeah, anymore. But I mean, for people who still play it, it looks you know, neat. It looks, I'm excited for you because the the night map looks awesome. Yeah, yeah, the night maps look neat. But, yeah. That wasn't one of the big things, though. Mm -hmm. yeah. They talked about, you know, other EA Sports games. I'm not going to complain Madden about that. Madden has a European fucking console. story mode. And so does FIFA, too. Yeah. And the NBA one has a story mode. See, I just, I, I watched the trailer for, man, NFL 18, long shot. And I just, like, I had flashbacks <sighs> to when I first saw NBA 2K15? No, what, we're on 17, right? Right, yeah. So 16, so right? 16. Was it 16? Right? I think yes. they had two of those story It was modes, 16 right? was the one that was like, a Spike Lee wrote this story. It's just yeah. like, I don't, I don't trust like that. I just want you to give me the story mode where it's just like, do shit. Here's my biggest issue with the story mode is the fact that it's like, you play Dash Wild. That's actually his name. I don't know what his name is and I don't care. You play him and his his struggle through life. It's like, hey, you know what you have better story mode? Make your character. Yeah. You pick your pick your college. Yeah. You play like a season pick, or so pick in college. Your, pick your position. Pick your yeah. this. Like... And you go on to play the pros. That's a good story mode. I like That's what good that's what good sports game story I modes. I don't want to play someone yeah. else's life. And like if I'm not mistaken, don't quote me on this because I could be wrong, but if I'm not mistaken, you can make him I think look like yourself. Like you can customize it. It's not I don't think it has to be the guy that's in the trailer. But if I'm not mistaken, the FIFA one, our friend Carl played it and he said you play like a season or so. But then you hit a point where it's like, all right, you're done. And it's like you can't even like carry that character over to a, like a my career be a pro thing. Like you have to make a new one. And it's like, and if no, I'm not mistaken, and, if no I'm not mistaken. and it's like, why the fuck would you do that? Like, why no not you like, you can career. make your guy better with the currency that you get through stuff. It's like, oh, you can buy currency. Oh, well, at the end you can't. Uh, you can't that over. <sighs> but yeah, I mean. Interesting. It's, 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 it's cool that Madden's going to story mode. I mean, yeah, cool. Yeah, say it's, Madden. Good. it's a good addition. Like, I like the yeah. idea that yeah. at least they're doing stuff. Hopefully it'll be good. I say, I didn't get last year, so I may spend the $60 on it this year. Who knows? Depends on how I feel when it yeah. comes out. <laughs> and then they, the showed, the then they showed NBA Live 18 for two seconds and put it back in the corner where it fucking belongs. 2K for life. They didn't yeah, show hardly any of that. <laughs> Those games, just... I'm sorry. I Who's the cover athlete on it? Uh, they didn't show I don't think they did. Yeah, I don't know. Mm. Um, don't even got cover at yet. Mm. I'm sorry, 2K <laughs> is just a better game. Yeah, they are. It can't sell NBA it Live 18. Let me look. Maybe they have a cover athlete. What else do they talk about? They do not. God. Need for Speed Payback is next. Yeah, Need for Speed Payback. They're doing they, Need for Speed game that isn't set entirely at night. Nice. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's a, a that's big fun. step up already. <laughs> I'm interested. Fun. fun. It looks fun. Yeah. It looks interesting. You know, it seems to be... Close to like the way the takedowns work, like almost burnouty. Isn't it the burnout dev team? Uh, I think it is. I, I think it, I'm pretty sure it is. I think it is. I think it's like it's not like the original Criterion people, but well, I it's Criterion. I think I don't know yeah. if it's, how many people are still there. I know there's but. some some of the Criterion devs working on that like PC <laughs> version of like the crash, just the crash mode from Burnout. Games. Oh, yeah. that what a game! You just crash shit, and it's. it's not. And it's cool, but it's like, I know that that's at least some of the uh, devs. Yeah. So. Don't got much to say about New Year's Speed, I guess. And it looks interesting. A Way Out. I, just, I, just, way out. I missed EA's press conference. Mm -hmm. I have not seen what is this. Um, it's by the devs of Brothers <laughs> to Oh, no. Yeah. And it's, and it's, it's like a prison break. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's a, like a story driven co op game where you're playing two separate characters with two separate goals, and it can be like, it's split screen, and it has to be co op. So it can be like one character's in like a cutscene. 
but you can walk around and do shit while that cutscene is going on, and there's like all this stuff, and it looks really interesting. It's it cool. looks interesting. That's the only thing that I didn't like is that you have to be with someone. Yeah. Because brother, the brothers game was it was you were controlling two people, but you yeah. played by yourself, and like I, I don't know, it just. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Yeah, to I see want them, the option, I guess, is what you know, gets me. It's kind of funny to see them going from a co-op, quote unquote, game where yeah. each stick is a character mm. to an actual co-op game. But I'm, I'm interested. Uh, the, my one big concern is how much of it is like super scripted, because a lot of that definitely came off as like big <laughs> scripted set piece moments you typically see at E3 press conference. Yeah. So, they did make we'll a see. point of like saying that they wanted it to be like the player has choice and stuff. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully that you know carries out I mean, and actually. It's it seems like an interesting idea. I also I appreciate that the split screen ratio isn't like the same the whole time. Like it'll shift based on what's going on. Okay. It's not just like here are two square screens next to each other I the whole game. It's cool that one could be in a cutscene and the yeah. other could be moving, doing playing the game while they're in cutscene. Like that's like, that's, that's impressive. That's cool. So I'm it'll, I'll be interested to see how it turns out. Then they showed the teaser for Anthem, which yeah. we've yeah. talked about. Yeah. Yeah. Talk about Anthem. It seems interesting. We'll see it. Turns out. Then they showed Battlefront 2 Battle shit, too. Battlefront yeah. 2. Looks gorgeous. It looks so pretty. It looks, it looks so like, pretty. Like, single player story mode, all the eras of Star Wars. Like, it's it's promising all the stuff that it said it was going to do. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm so in. Uh, no, I'm waiting for the review still because we kind of got burned by the last one. But, I'm. Totally like interested if nothing if I don't hear anything bad mm -hmm. I'll totally be into it. Yeah, it's like I had I had a lot of fun with the first one. I think of all of us I had the most fun. You with probably the first played one. Probably. You probably played the game the fucking most. And I should play it some more. I'm, I, it's, it's a fun. It's it was. I paid sixty dollars for the video game. I should. Play I like to, I like to compare it to fucking um, Titanfall, the original Titanfall, mm. where it was a very fun game. Not enough stuff there. Yeah. Not yeah. enough there. Um, and it, it, it seems like from everything they're doing, the DLC is not going to be a season pass locked. It's all going to be free stuff, so there's, there's going to be microtransactions, but there was going to be either way. Yeah, you know, I mean, idea. that's just, that's gaming now. There's going to be microtransactions. So it's like, whatever. You know, if it gets free maps and free heroes and free all sorts of new things, and people will have to pay for them, so you don't have fucking eight different player bases? Hell yeah! As long as you just keep it out of our way. Yeah, as, as long, long as, as it's some, not obnoxious. As long as it's not pay to win. Yeah, it, like, yeah, all right. All of them won't. It won't. No. Oh, yeah. I don't think yeah, it's 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 the Han Solo incident <laughs> the last one, I think. <clears throat> no, the Han Solo oh, gun. The, the Jesus, so, yeah. yeah. Speaking of pay to something... Bethesda really fucked up oh, this year, didn't they, the boys? Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh. we didn't rate the EA press conference. Oh yeah, we gotta rate it. Oh, good. Um, <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired. It was. We don't have to go super into it. I'm. I'm gonna rate these ones on a scale of which one was the best out of the three of them. Uh, That's so easy. Though. This one. This That's one's really the middle easy. one. It was good. A lot of, lot of fun things. If we're going by that, then this is like a solid C. I'll give it like a C. Yeah, it's like so, yeah. like a C plus. I mean, they didn't fuck it nothing, up as bad no, as I was expecting. Nothing bad. Didn't fuck it up. Battlefront looks good. Interested in a way out. If you don't fuck probably. it up, you get like, you'll get like a C in my book. Like, yeah. alright. Good job. If you don't have your Wii Music moment. Yeah. They, they had that, those, dr those drum lines were kind of annoying. And then they had that Yeah, YouTuber. but that was the opening. They got that YouTube. Oh, YouTuber God, they did. Who, Oh they yeah, that was line. one of those they have, that, cringe moments. That, no, that was full on cringe as fuck. Oh wait, wasn't that for like, um? What was that for? That was it was for, for, it was for, for speed. Yeah, and, and the guy was just kind of like, fucking he froze up completely. Oh my god, that was so bad. What was um? He's one of those prank dudes too. Yeah, he's not even yeah. a gamer yeah. guy or whatever. He's just they're, a prank they're, guy. They're just like, hey, you can present. You're like there, popular. There was a game. Like, no, I can't. There was a game at sure, I think clearly. it was Ubisoft where they got one of these um. I can't remember what the game was, but they were getting like a bunch of like YouTube people being like, "God, I fucking hated this game. This game sucked." I can't remember what it was though, but they had. Well, I know Battlefront. They had all the tweets about where's the yeah, single player, and then John Boyega. John Boyega's like, like, "I wanted them to put in a single player, and thanks to me, they did." <laughs> like, I love John Boyega. Thanks, thanks, John Boyega. I'll, I'll think I'll, I'll it'll come to me, but yeah, uh, it, it was okay. Uh, Bethesda. Let's talk some shit about this awful Bethesda press conference. That's why we're playing this. Because Bethesda, ooh, ooh. why the This fuck? game that they want you to buy, again, for 60 United States dollars so you can oh play God. it in VR. Like, literally everything other than the last two... Well, the last two is The last thing. two things yeah. we can run down in, like, 60 <laughs> seconds flat. Yeah. And we will. Start the timer. Uh, Doom VFR. Cool. 
I will literally shit my pants if I play that. <laughs> like shit I will, I will poop myself if I play. Also, that it's game. thirty dollars. <laughs> yep. Just for uh, that. Fallout Four VR is a sixty dollar game. I I literally thought it was like a free update. Like, oh, do you have it's, a, it's an another HTC Vive? Full game. Here you go. No, you have to buy it again. Elder Scrolls Online. And throw it out the window. Uh, fuck that. Fuck that. That's shit. already out. Why did they show that? Um, they, they added know. Skyrim shit to their fucking Elder Scrolls card game because everyone yeah, has ooh. to have a card game because no Hearthstone. No one's playing that. Fucking Nobody cares. The the paid mods, paid mods creation club. Ooh. Now that that we can take a second because yeah, yeah let's 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 let it roll on this one. That to me, it's kind of hard because it's like I understand the idea of like, hey, we want to you know make it so there's a program for mod creators to kind of get a little bit of compensation. But at the same time, it's I mean, like... I wonder how much they'll... Yeah, how much are they actually getting, number one? Number two, how much vetting are they even going to be doing that? It's not this guy just stole this other person's mod off Nexus right, right. and pass it off as his own. Right, and then it, it, it's my old, my old thing about it is this. You're going to have Jim Jim A, and Jim A is going to make a mod where it's like, hey, Jim I a. made all the, all the stim packs, you have to actually, like, realistically, like, inject them. Like, it takes longer, and then it's like, oh, that's cool. I'm Jim B. I'm going to make that mod myself. I'm going to make a free one of it. Like, every single thing that's, like, not, like, by them, I have a feeling it's just going to be, like, some, thank God for them, White Knight modders just going to be like, yeah, I'll make that for free. Boom, boom, done it. (laughs) You can just have it for free, because that's what mods are supposed to be in these games. Yeah, that's, it's a whole can of worms. Now, I don't know how the fuck they're going to do it, because if you... Say you're going to have paid mods, and people are going to just make the mods free, and they're just going to go get it there anyway, and it's like, it seems like it's kind of pointless. It, it's there's, not going to work. I don't know how like, they're going to get it to work. There's two ways it could go. Either it goes, like, it did last time they tried to put paid mods for Skyrim on Steam, horribly. It all comes back to Skyrim. It's all going to go <laughs> It all comes back to Skyrim! And there's no vetting, and it's a mess, and it goes away in a week. Or it's going to be like, say, uh, Dota 2, where it's like... People contribute, like, skins and stuff to Dota 2 from the community, and then Valve okays the more popular ones, and then they're, like, brought in to the game as, like, DLC stuff. But here's the thing. Dota is A, free. Not a $60 game. Nope. B, um, a, a game that uses those, like, microtransaction-y skins and stuff to fund... The tournaments and stuff? Yeah. And see, like, okay, I know people who make a living doing the stuff for Dota 2, and it can work, or it could work previously before Valve started slashing their cut, like, mercilessly, because these people have no rights as content creators. Valve doesn't give them any rights, and I doubt Bethesda would either. So, like, no, this isn't... It's... It's probably not going to work out either way. Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't see it going well. Especially in these old-ass games. It's not like a new game. Yeah, it'd be different if it was, like, <coughs> built in, but then they would have it's to do... just Fallout 5. Make, you can yeah. make mods in and we'll give... Honestly, they would have to do, if they really wanted to make it work, they would have to do something worse <laughs> and add some kind of DRM for mods. <laughs> In that you could not alter the game's files unless it is an approved mod. Hey, guys, we, we, we put... We, we tout that we have... We were we are this big, you know. We we were the ones that put mods in our games, and now we are taking them away to make you buy. Them. You'd yeah, like, like, you'd be like, whoa! Like that's the thing. You Stop. can't mod Dota Two. That's an online game. If you mod that shit, it's like Valve's going to crack down on you for cheating stuff. Fuck like, the game himself is going to come to your house, he kick is. your ass. <laughs> He's got a lot of knives, so you should watch out. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, but yeah, it's not. Uh, I don't know why they're trying this again with Skyrim. They just need to stop. They just, they just need to leave Skyrim alone. And, and, then, they, and then they show off Skyrim for Switch. Uh, who cares? We already knew this was coming. And Zelda's in there. Was... Amiibos. He looks like Amiibos. Amiibos. That's so funny that this is the only time we saw Amiibos, I think. Nintendo didn't do anything with Amiibos this year, really. They brought him up, like... They brought him up on the stream? They brought him up with Zelda. Ooh. And that yeah. was it. Oh, yeah, wait. No, they did not see that Zelda was, Amiibos. That was, like, literally it. God. And then, let's see. Um... There's going to be Dishonored uh, expansion. DLC. DLC. It's like a standalone <laughs> expansion. Yeah, it's a standalone, which is yeah. weird. It is it's kind of weird. I it guess it's isn't... sort of like the, the what, Wolfenstein, like the new, this new order was the full game. It's like the, the, the old blood. blood. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I think that's what it kind of is. This is kind of funny because it's not Dishonored 2, Death of the Outsider. It's yeah. just Dishonored. It's just, yeah. Which, I mean, 
I guess that's I'm, your way I'm of not trying into, to I'm not into Dishonored, but like I know people like it, so it's like, hey, cool, fun. fun. You know, unfortunately, it was just like a CGI trailer, though. Yeah. Play. And then fucking, they talked a lot of stuff about Quick Champions. Quick Champions, like, I just don't care. I'm sorry, I don't care about Quick Champions. <laughs> it looks okay. Like, it, looks it, lo- it, it looks like one of those really fast pace shooters that I would get my ass handed to me in. Exactly. Like, I feel like, like okay. The, 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 the little nuances and nice stuff about like Quake style games being integrated into like esports nowadays just uh, something something just feels like lost with it. Yeah, I, mean, I, I don't know. It's just it's a different time. Yeah. It's a different fucking millennium. So then they had two actual real reveals right. that this everyone already knew stuff. about. Everyone I knew about, but I mean, they were still, sick. still good reveals. We got Evil Within Two, which the, the, the trailer cum game, the, 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 the cum giant game. giant. <laughs> so we have trailer. witnessed the most powerful comp. <laughs> the, which trailer looks really cool. It's just the thing with Evil Within is it's like it was a game that kind of got like middle Maybe reviews. Like, yeah. So I I don't know if I'm gonna like it. I have to go back and play the first one. But also, like I've mentioned about Doom VR. I am a baby back bitch. <laughs> baby back bitch. Games, so I will. Yeah. Well, especially if it's a VR horror game. I, I ain't even touched one of those before. I, I know I would like this actually. This one definitely. I played because I played the first one. It's, it's, it's a little scary. I. But it's definitely really hard. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It was, it was an okay game though. I'm not gonna. But the trailer looks fucking cool. The trailer looks cool. Looks I'm, cool. I'll, I'll probably shit. end up playing it. I, I just hope they go really weird with it because yeah, like well, it's a it, it's I, oh, I know like. they, it looks like they did but that could also just be I I look at that and I kind of think of like the Metal Gear Solid Five first trailers where it's like here's all this weird shit and you wake up in a hospital and there's a flaming fire whale and the rest of it's like you recruit guys in Afghanistan and it's kind of like right the, the, yeah. God the fucking like first mission <laughs> in Metal Gear Solid Five is just like. Off the fucking walls. Yeah, see, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for for good horror games. That's why like Red Seven was such a nice surprise. That was actually good. <clears throat> and as I never played Evil Within One, but like after seeing like what's going on with this one, I'm like, oh, that was pretty. I mean, is cool. it? I love I love horror movies. I love these horror movies. Horror games, it's just they get me. Yeah. I I haven't, I haven't even beat. I love that. I haven't even games. beaten System Shock Two yet. Yeah. <laughs> because I turn that game on for like ten minutes. I go, uh, and then I like turn off. I'm like, oh god, something, something. <laughs> I'm just walking around dark corner. Just, I love, that, I love that atmosphere. It's Robot goes so beep, boop, I go <laughs> click, click, click. Done, we're on here. Walks out of room. <laughs> I'm going to get murdered. He was in the director of the original Resident Evil, though, isn't it? Or 4, at least, I think. Yeah, something like something that. Something like that. Shinji Mikami. Oh. Didn't he also work on Phoenix Wright or something? I feel I don't like know. it. I don't know if he was a Capcom guy, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, looks looks alright. Hopefully it's better than the first one. Hopefully it's fucking weird and creepy as hell. Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein 2. Oh, looks. looks really now this is the big one. Balls so to the good. wall. It looks real good. It's it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be amazing. Good. I am going like I am. Did did you get Wolfenstein digitally? You. Yes. Okay. I was gonna um. Hey, we can play. I'm a fucking cheap piece of shit. I'm trying to. <laughs> Boomba Wolfenstein. Steam Silver like, oh. sales in like a week or two. It's oh, gonna be like five bucks. God, I know. And since that, since that summer sale, every like console summer sale, we were in the corner too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that game is already like only nineteen ninety nine on the Xbox Store. So yeah. It's, yeah. I want to play it. Wolfenstein is such a good game. Like, like it's a it's a, it's pretty long and it's a good just fun shooter. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Oh my god. That looks like the of the two games coming out this year about shooting Nazis. I like that one the better. Yeah. So Which is the other one? God. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I forgot. They didn't have, they didn't have that real is what World War II is about. Yeah, which they is didn't have real swastikas in the trailer, so I forgot. I guess. Yeah. Also, like someone brought yeah, up, yeah, and it was like, man stuff. orders a milkshake. He's like, yes, yeah, I'll have a milkshake, and then takes one sip, and it's already gone. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, no, what, what a milkshake! Nazis like, got these stupid strong ones. I mean, why didn't Hitler wants them to disappear a race? I wish yeah. I could drink a milkshake yeah. that quickly. God. This God. is my. This is our. This is the. Uh, God, I can't. Find it. I don't want, can't I'm kind of glad that I can't put on a good Hitler. So, yeah, so don't. I think that's where you know. That's not. <laughs> Say we didn't. I was gonna be. The joke is that the Aryan race is the best at slurping down mm, delicious strawberry milkshakes. Oh, okay. That's, that's the like one that. advantage they got. That's yeah. it. Also, I'm so excited for uh, this game to make real life Nazis really pissed off. It's so great. It's already making them really pissed off. It's I great. I cannot they're believe like, they're genuinely going on YouTube and going. A fucking SJW is making a game about killing people you don't agree with. Like, these are Nazis. They're literal Nazis! Video games, th- there are like three core things that video games have been about since like the 80s, and one of them has always been killing Nazis. 
Yeah. Yeah. There have always been games about killing Nazis. Fuck out of here. But yeah, it, that looks really, it looks really cool. I'm excited. I'm gonna play the first two now because yeah, I gotta, I gotta play. Did, so did anyone play the first one? I, 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 I own it. I don't have. Okay. Okay. I, I, it because I know it's really good. I just haven't. There's a lot of. To it. Uh, I saw on the in the trailer. There's a lot of story stuff that yeah, like I'm so, like so wait stay a second. Away from... That's not like I was like questioning some because I saw some people. I'm like wait a second. So don't rewatch the trailer if you're starting to play the game. Uh, definitely play the when you play. Yeah, when you play the first one, watch the trailer. You're gonna be like. Wait a second. Wait a second. So that, I have some questions going into this yeah. game. Too. My whole awesome. thing is that I just I remember that Wolfenstein came out, and it it I, I I couldn't remember if it was like a new, like version of the games, like a new like you know story, like new new like Wolfenstein. But all I remember is that like three years before that one Wolfenstein game for 360 had come out, <laughs> and I hated. I played that one, and I, oh, I hated I that I one. I didn't play it back. It was bad. It, yeah. it was a bad game. So I just looked. I was like. Mmm, is that a sequel that? No, thank you. No, thank you. This one is like No, it's a miles totally away. Okay, I'm in. Mean, yeah. Oh! Damn! <laughs> I guess that is a pretty good way to end the Bethesda section. Just blow someone's head yeah, off. Yeah, because goddamn. Uh, anyway, uh, I give this one a uh, Todd. Why Why this have to happen, Todd, out of ten? Yeah. Yeah, that was not good. It's like they had to do any three press conferences because they've been doing it, and I'm like, I mean, I we guess might as well we do it again. To. Like, it's like, they didn't have any big announcements last year. Like, they announced Prey. Maybe. No one saw that coming. That's the thing. I would love it if, like, the the developers, pressers, was more like of a round table. Like, mm -hmm. a, like, rotating cast of, like, well, this year we have EA and we have Ubisoft and Bethesda. It's like, next year we have Activision and... Rockstar, but they never did it. They used to do it. You know, shit like that, where it's like... Because it, it makes us that these developers don't have to go, like, fuck, we have to go up there, mm -hmm. don't we? Oh, god damn it. All right, top... Oh, Todd, you're not coming? No, my, uh, looks at right, running hand. Myrtle Schooler has a <laughs> dance recital? Bye! Her, I think it was that's, graduation. That's gotta be why he didn't show up. It was something. Like, like, he, I know it was like, oh, it was middle school graduation. Whatever. I don't think so. I think he's like, well, I people think are gonna not, be, Todd. They didn't even need people on the stage. It was a fucking Nintendo Direct. It was all taped in advance. They just yeah. had someone come up to me. Hey, here's the video. Yeah. yeah Play. Like, yeah. And they even it. started off with the bit about the kids. Like, look at all these children. Oh, we yeah. have children. Like, oh, it's so don't be mean to us. We have children. Please, <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> please reflect all of your anger towards yourself for being think, such a mean think man. Think of our kids. children before you yeah. rant about how little we were real today. And it's like, they, they just didn't need to do a press conference. Hey, why was there a horny Thomas the Tank Engine on their fucking yeah, like, transition? Yeah, that was a good question. <laughs> I don't know. They, they know about the Skyrim mods. Uh, probably. Probably. So speaking of um, rabid children, man, Ubisoft. 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 Rabbit. That was the big one this year. This like stuff. this was like a really fucking good presser. Yeah, Ubisoft had a really good presser. I can't believe how fucking good it was because Ubisoft's usually the worst. Yeah. Ubisoft is usually like the definition yeah. of like cringe. Yeah. Usually they got Mr. Caffeine up here going doodle -doo -doo -doo, or they got Aisha Tyler <laughs> talking about her girl Wood I'm all the so time. I'm so glad she was. Like, and like, everyone's would, like, she's please. so funny. It's like, oh my god, no. Like, EA, EA gets kind of cringy, but EA at least, like, like it's like, you kind of know what you're getting from EA, because they're just going to go, all right, hey, let's say we have X amount of time, like, this much of it is going to be the sports games, and the rest is going to be, like, everything else, okay? Mm. Here's cringy stuff in between. But with, like, Ubisoft, it's just, every year, it's always just like, ugh. But this year, hey. Yeah, it was the most E3 presser we had, I think. Yeah. Because the other one, a lot of, that was one thing I noticed just generally about the pressers, is that we had some very not E3 pressers. You no, know, like no the weird Bethesda host one. shit. No. no. Like the, what, Ubisoft was the only one to have, you know, a bunch of people, different people come out, really, because Microsoft much. had a couple of people, EA had a couple of people, but even, you know. Well, EA, EA had a lot was, of people, but, yeah. but they had not that much to talk about. Ubisoft yeah. was like, pretty much all... Devs yeah. just coming out for Showing their games. Showing gameplay or having a gameplay footage and then talking about it with a dev and stuff. Which is nice. They're listening. Yeah. It was, you know, they did the Just Dance thing with whoever they were saying. Hey, Just Dance is it still was coming like out of the fucking pop Wii. Star. Yeah, I can't believe it's still coming the out of the original Wii. Wii. That's fucking crazy. Because <laughs> they know this game is marketed towards... Like, families who only own a Wii. Yeah, and yeah. it's like, here you go. And I want like, the new hey. Just Dance with the new pop hits of the summer. Speaking of here we go. Speaking about a here we yeah. go. Oh, no. Mario no, Rabbids. Rabbids. I can't fucking believe this, this game. game actually looks pretty damn good. I can't believe it. Why I, is it XCOM? I can't Why believe they made Mario and Raven Rabbids meet XCOM. 
I it can't believe it. It looks so it. weird, and I'm kind of really excited. It looks good. I can't believe it. I'm going to buy the fucking Rabbids game with Mario. <laughs> the, game with Mario. the game with Mario and the Rabbids, and Mario's got a gun. Like, I can't believe and it. And Miyamoto comes out on stage with a gun. And I Bill lost Trinan's my there. shit when that Dude, happened. Dude, the fucking, the dev of the game out in the crowd, like, crying. Because Miyamoto was like, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? This, is, this is awesome. And, like, even, like, you know, that's just I, like, it's got some really cool, like, tactical RPG, like, ideas. Like, it has, yeah. that, it has that sort of thing, like, in Chroma Squad, where it's, like, jumping from characters, like, mm-hmm. using, like, spring pads and shit, and, like, I'm excited. I'm in it. It's definitely interesting. I definitely want to see more of it, though. I mean, I can't believe I went from, why does this game have to exist to... I'm gonna get it. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna get the Rabbit game. I'm gonna get the Rabbit. I mean, shit, it's the big Switch game for August, I guess. So. Yeah. Yeah. And then they moved into showing some more of Assassin's Creed Origin. Yeah, we, yeah, we, we talked about that. Just... Looks okay. We'll wait and see. Crew two. <laughs> the crew two. Now I have Andrew. It's not big enough this time. <laughs> <laughs> as far as I can tell, it's America again. Um... And Andrew, you said now. Don't don't. I don't want you to think. I'm, I'm gonna bite your head off well, in a few seconds. The only thing that, that I was like interested in is the fact that they you can play like with the planes and the boats. I'm like, all right, at least that's interesting. At least it's different. I'm not saying it's like, oh shit, you know, fuck, this is <laughs> oh <a> shit, <laughs> it's going down. The crew as an idea is really cool. It, if they can ever actually do it. I'm I'm not saying we're gonna buy it because I'm probably not, but mm. it's cool that they're at least adding like all this different motor it's type a, things yeah, you can r- get, just fuck around and race. It is just so weird that it's like you have boats and motorcycles yeah. and planes. I wasn't expecting that. Not and dirt bikes. Yeah. yeah like anything with a motor. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's Jimmy Johnson. He was an engine across the country. I knew you guys were going to do that. Hell yeah. Jake's going to buy it now. No, yeah. I'm not. But anyway, it's, if it's free with gold. If it, if it is. Yeah. Yeah. It will be free with gold I'm, in three and a half years. I'm never going to buy it. It's like the right one. It's interesting. I, I want it to be good just because I think the idea of an open world racing game where the map is all of America, minus Hawaii and Alaska, yeah. is like a really cool idea. It's, it's yeah. absolutely but I'm absolutely right. not getting even slightly invested in this game until it's out I and we learn if it's like dog shit. Because the, the problems with the last one are not stuff that's going to show up in an E3 trailer. It's like no. the handling, the way the game is that's, structured, like the missions. To me, the whole thing is the handling. It, yeah. It, the fucking, you couldn't get the fucking cars to drive right in the last one and you're expanding the planes? <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah. Like, <laughs> the cars drove like literal anus. They were like sliding around like the dicks on the fucking dick game. General jousting. It was terrible. Nice, like, nice, and nice. the dicks on the dick game. Yeah. Like, Bal- <laughs> Battlefront 2, they're immediately like, don't worry. We f- we fixed the, the spaceships. The flying controls are much better now. It's like, all right, good. They don't say anything about that with the crew, which is their main concern. Yeah, it's sequel. like, okay, I guess I'll I have guess, to hope you have yeah. a demo. I mean, they might have said it. I couldn't understand the guy. <laughs> Ubisoft is usually at least okay with sequels. Like the thing is, Assassin's Creed Two was a lot better than Assassin's Creed One. Watch Dogs Two is a hell of a lot better than Watch Dogs One. Yeah, we'll yeah. see. It's a wait and see. I mean, yeah, wait and see, see what happens. Mm-hmm. It's not 2018, right? Yes, I guess. I think I so. so. I mean, whatever. It's something that isn't coming out in 2018. God, South Park. South Park game. This one's two, not actually. Hey, there's actually no, two. you didn't see the, the full name. The fractured, the fractured butthole. butthole. The this one butthole. isn't made by Obsidian. I don't know who's even making this one. I don't know. I don't know. Another butthole. <laughs> it's funny. A butthole making a butthole. I hate. I hate with all of my heart that they had to have Cartman laugh after saying butthole in the title. Yeah. Like, we get it. It's, you said butthole. It's funny. <laughs> it's like he said butthole. <laughs> <laughs> It's yeah, like, it's... Oh, my yeah, God. I'm just, Fuck like, ass. <laughs> One of the dungeons is a strip club. It's funny. Uh, we made a wasn't joke that about, the gameplay we, that's, thing at the E3 that conference? That was the demo, yeah. yeah. We made a joke about all the devs going to strip clubs for research. It's really have, funny. Like, another, like, turn-based RPG thing for your phone, too. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. everyone loves seeing mobile games at E3. <laughs> everyone <laughs> also said that it's gonna, not only is it a mobile game, it's probably going to be, like, a gotcha mobile game, like... Of course oh, it is. No, that's no. what mobile games are. Yeah. Like, they have so many characters and classes in that game. Of course it is. It's going to be fucking love life. You got to roll to get your characters. Don't get excited because we're going to be love life. It's not Derek, love life. What is it's it? South Park, Derek. It's South Park, get, South Park, get, get my get man. Get smirk off your face. It's love life, but the only <laughs> song is the South Park theme song by Primus. <laughs> oh, okay. 
Oh, I gotta go. Let's, uh, let's, let's move on to the more interesting. Uh, uh, really yeah, Transference. I don't know jack shit about this game other than Elijah Wood showed up to pretend to be it's a, a dev, VR game a about VR. VR. And it's a VR, it, it, it's very it's meta a mind fuck, like, horror game. Yeah. I'm it's sure it's another, interesting. Yeah, I'm interested. It's It joins the list of VR games I'd like to try at some point <laughs> in uh, three years when I have a VR thing. Yeah. Like, because it's like, I'm not... Currently, I'm not going to be buying a PlayStation anytime soon. And mm. because if I did, it's like 300 or whatever for the PlayStation. I think and it's 400, isn't it? Well, for, yeah, for, the, pro, for yeah. the pro. But if, you, if you're getting, like, if your goal is, like, I'm going to get PSVR, it's like, you, you got to get the pro. Pretty much. You're not, you're gonna well, yeah, because it only runs a little pro. It not only, but yeah, it, it, it runs, runs a lot better. It runs a hell of a like, lot better. Like if you're getting a fucking one, that's like you yeah, drop, yeah. drop the extra hundred. How much is the VR to buy itself again? Isn't it's like three, three, I think it's, it's three fifty or yeah, four hundred. It's because like, oh, yeah. I remember the bundle was like eight hundred. And, and then the controllers are hundred. There's there's the bundle. There's the bundle where it's like PS Pro it's VR headset, hand, hand, hand thing, camera. and all of the games and the camera is like one thousand one hundred dollars. It's insane. It's not anyway, for, it's not for of, people who make money like us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's but insane. It's I'm, I'm glad that developers are making them for the people with stupid money. That <laughs> way when we have... Well, we'll have a nice backlog. Maybe, maybe I'll have stupid money. That'd be great. But when VR is normal money, normal people money, we'll have a good backlog. Right. Right. We'll just have to see about it. And they went to Skull and Bones and just kind of joked about like EVE Online for fucking ships. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, it's I'm interested. I know there's going to be a beta for it. I want to play that. I'll mess around. It looks pretty. It but looks really pretty. Can I say, I, don't know, I, I agree with you guys. Like, when it comes to fucking, uh, whatchamacallit? Sea of Thieves? Sea of Thieves. Like, I, like, I understand your guys' fear, but like, my hope is there is more to do. Because I, yeah. like I feel like I've watched stuff where they say there is a decent amount of things to do. It's not just like, oh, find my fairy treasure. It's like, there are actual activities, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm not saying that Sea of Thieves is be better, because I feel like they're different, because I feel like it's like mm -hmm. matchmaking, yeah, you play it, like, you have the ships that you're on, whereas Sea of Thieves is like, it's open world, you go explore with your friends and, like, find stuff, and it's like... Well, I think, I'm pretty sure that, um, Skull and Bones is also open world, it's is just it? that, it's like, a... It feels I, like it's I matchmaking. I feel like it's compared to EVE Online, because it's like, there's a big open sea, and I think you sail like around, PvE you'll PvE run in, yeah, you'll run into other players, and it's like... You can fight them or not. You can make alliances There's with like other players. Two also, you'll see That's crazy. Wow, wow Jimmy, you're, why'd your mom let you have two pirate games in a console generator? I, Andrew, weren't you mad about this game? Yeah, I just don't... <laughs> I'm not mad about it. I just... Don't care about pirates. I, I don't like the genre, but, like, it just doesn't appeal to me. Like, it's basic... Like, the way I saw it from, from the gameplay, it's just... You're just... It's competitive boat fighting. Competitive well, yeah, boat we'll fighting. see how interesting that actually it is. is. It's an eSport boat fighting game. I mean, like, I don't know what else to put it. Like, it's, just, like, it's not... It, it's I don't know if there is more to it than that. I think there is. I think there's, like, PvE I mean, PvP. But, well, I will say is that fucking Kraken <laughs> at that, uh, the end of that Yeah, time, when like, I oh, saw that, I was like, I bet Andrew like that. Like, ooh, maybe, there's, maybe there is more to yeah, it. Yeah, maybe but there's something there. It's, right now, it just doesn't... I don't know. If I had to pick, if I had to pick between Sea of Thieves and that, and Skull Bones, I'd pick Sea of Thieves, because that's the more fun, yeah. open-world, you know, play with friends. Mm -hmm. Skull and Bones is... You're gonna be focused, trying to, you know, it's competitive. You're gonna try yeah. to win. I mean, it doesn't. I don't know. Skull it, Bones is interesting. I'll put yeah. it that way. It's. It. I feel like it would be. It's something I want to try because if depending on how like the depth is on the boat fighting, people could be super tryhards in it, and you just die instantly oh, yeah. in the boat game. It's a, mm -hmm. and it's Assassin's Creed. Uh, Assassin's Creed. Yeah, Black which Black. is pretty yeah. funny. They're, they're just yeah, like, yeah. all right, we're spinning this off. I thought. Yeah. See, I saw it. And I thought, oh, are they just doing like a spinoff of Black Flag, or they're making that its own series? And they kind of are, but only the boat combat. Yeah, yeah. I'm a little the disappointed there's no, like, online Yeah, I thought it was going to be just a full pirate game at first, yeah. but... but it's like, we'll see, I don't... Yeah. I'm just saying right there's, now. There's a lot of we'll sees. Yeah. yeah. A lot of them. But that's E3 every year, I guess. And then Just Dance. So, Just Dance. Yeah. And then South Park again. And then that game Starlink. Battle for... I'm, Battle. Kind, of, I'm kind of interested, though. I looked it up. It, it's a Toys to Life game. Yeah. It seems kind of neat. But actually, you can play it without the toys. You don't, yeah, it's not Skylanders, you don't need the toys. So, uh, uh, it seems kind of like vaguely Star Foxy, so I'm kind of interested. Yeah. Ooh. I wish I more of those Toys okay. to Life games were like that, because yeah. it's like... It's not like... You, they should give you the option. You want you want to play as the Hulk in Disney Infinity? Better buy the fucking toy. Go down to Kmart <laughs> and get it. Better buy all of the... You better buy the set with him and everyone else, and God. it's $30, and... 
13 15 dollars for every playable character that you got to buy the figure like, no thanks uh it'll again another we'll another, see how fun the game is and then steep is getting expansion which that's cool that's cool, that's cool. It's old, the old yeah, okay. and then they showed some far cry 5 stuff which it, it looks, looks, it good. looks, it looks I'm, I'm sold it looks good. good yeah it looks great yeah it looks like it's I'll, gonna be really i loved all the additions um the uh they have what uh, bangs for hire, gun for hire? Where yeah. you can just like we, the it, fucking it, it, dog. Yeah. yeah, he grabs guns for you. Yeah, it. and he can. Oh <laughs> my god! And it's like you can meet different people and different animals, I guess, and have them mm -hmm. tamed for that. Yeah, it's like yes. It looks like, really. Give me a bear. I like that the sniper lady you can actually like choose vantage points for mm -hmm. instead of her just being yeah. like a dumb AI partner who doesn't yeah. know what to do. And I'm, actually, <clears> I'm <throat> interested in the story. Yeah, like, yeah. With it's, my, like, it's, it's like a cool setting. They kind of some brought up kind of like it's like you know kind of taken from like Metal Gear Solid Five where it's like. It's like, oh, here's my sniper teammate. It's not just like, goes somewhere and does AI shit. No, it's like, you go over there. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm going to start sniping in this general area. It's like, go yeah. over there, move in. Kind of like really planning your attack now. It's like, yeah. Yes. Which, I'm also I'm also glad they were like, the story is relatively serious, but they also know it's like dumb fun because it's like, a Far Cry game is not the one to like have some sort of serious political commentary yeah. about. But These they, like right wing nut jobs the, taking the over. People online will try. Oh, they'll, they'll try. Yeah. There's gonna be some um, dumb fun, I'm sure. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I know. That, like in Far Cry three or something four, you had like a mission, a side mission where you're like on a trip, like oh, yeah. acid <laughs> trip the entire oh, time. What like, gun are you using? You're just blowing their fucking heads off instantly. It's a good gun. I know. Give me that gun. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't. I haven't seen it, the gameplay and stuff I showed from it yet. Like that was one of the few things from Ubisoft I haven't watched. Um, I did actually watch Skull and Bones. Like other stuff listed, like I, I, I think honestly, but like, Skull and Bones for the next game are the only things I really watched for. But the next game, like the next I game never game. played the first one, but holy shit, the fucking graphics in that fucking trailer were yeah. gorgeous. Beyond Good and Evil, fucking two. Yeah. Finally, they've been talking about doing this game for, for ten man. years. Yeah. It like, was announced for the Wii, I think, and it oh got canceled, and everyone thought it was gone. And it's like, oh god! Like, like, it's a little, like, no, we're still making it. I promise, it's coming someday. It's I'm just, not just making Rain Man. It's an interesting, like, you know, series because it's like I'm, I'm gonna go back and play Beyond Good and Evil. Yeah. Because you know, it's like so many people are like so hyped for it. it's like okay, this it has to be good. Yeah. It's definitely, it's the tr I don't I never played the first one. Either so I'm like I don't know what this is. I, mean, we, I think we had that one for free also. Like yeah, we one, did. We I'm do like, have. I'm gonna download on my huh? Xbox. We yeah. got that free. With it was gold. like games with gold for a little bit. I thought wait oh, that that was probably in the dark ages of like that. I thought that was... that year and two months where I didn't have a one. Wait, is it? I yeah, it was, I think it is. I thought it was only on original Xbox and PS2. No, it, it was, they, but they probably they, did they, they 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 a remaster. Yeah, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's it's on there. Yeah, cause I know I have it. Yeah. Yeah. So you could go to the da you could go to your games now and show I'll us. I'll definitely uh, play that. This is this is really unfortunate. None of us have actually played the game, have we? <laughs> yeah, it's. I bad. played like but the first half hour, and then it, I think I got it for a Christmas. So it was like I got like ten new games today. I got to play the other ones too, and I got distracted. <laughs> it's like I know it's a really cool, good game though. I'm like super yeah. excited for it to finally be getting a sequel that looks it like, looks so super interesting. Cool. It looks really good. Now is it yeah, a sequel it or it, yeah, it's a prequel? Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's what. Oh my god. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun to play that. And see, Damn it! I have to buy it. Yeah, I've, I've heard it. I've heard I thought it. it was pretty recent. That it yeah, was... it was pretty recent. I think it was in the last like it's yeah, been in the last it was year the last... or so. Yeah. How much can it actually be though? This game's from two thousand three. Can't be much. I, I have to have it. Like I have that. Would be but I say yeah, it's one of those games where like it's funny. I actually like, looked it up and like. Man, I remember how well it's going to be. I remember, like, specifically from X-Play, fucking Adam Susso just yeah. going on and on. He's like, this game is maybe my game of the year. I love this game. It's amazing. Five out of five. I'm like, huh, that sounds interesting. Right. I'm going to check it out. And, like, literally, on the Wikipedia page, it's like, yeah, it was a critical failure, like, uh, as far, or, uh, like, a commercial, 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 failure. commercial failure. But by the critics, like, it was, like, love, like, game of the year quality, like, game. But it just didn't do well financially for whatever reason. And yeah, it's still weird to me, like... I'm the kind of person where if everyone says it's good, I'll give it a shot. And yeah. Then, well, that was the dark ages before the internet was like... <laughs> the dark ages. Yeah. In the and, dark time. But, yeah, so I, all I've heard was good things about the first mm. one. Like, I, I know it's just a trailer. Like, it's there's no way the graphics probably going to look that good, but god damn, it's, it's so... At the game very game least, quality. Quality. at the very least, it's got very cool art direction. That's yeah. yeah. Very, so, very I love cool. that swearing monkey. Exciting. Yeah, Ubi, Ubi had a good presser. 
Very good. Mm -hmm. It was something good. Yeah. They had like they had a lot of new stuff. I didn't expect anything going into it, and I was ha very happy. That's the, the end best. Of it. That's why I never played it. Why? Why? Twelve achievements for two hundred points. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> this fucking guy. I, went oh. I expected Matt Parker and Trace. Trace. No, Trey Parker and Matt Stone. No, Matt Stone and Trey Parker to show up and make some bad pre-written jokes about South Park. I'm glad they did. To didn't. be like, buy our butthole RPG that isn't made by Obsidian. Like, okay. Yeah. That's all I expected. And they didn't show up. And That's they like, showed the games. So. They didn't show up and there was no butthole. I don't no know butthole. Her name. The butthole was it? I don't know her name, but whoever that pop star was on Dance, I think. I don't know. She's, she's on my top five wifey list now. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> and with that... And with that, that is uh, it for our E3 times, and definitely Ubisoft won, I think, between all of us. Yeah, and all yeah. three of them, I think. And yeah. Out, of, yeah. Yeah. Out of these three, yeah. Out of the third parties. Yeah, they definitely, definitely what won. What about the PC gaming show? Yeah, but that's it. <laughs> what about the Devolver <laughs> Digital thing they did? That was amazing. <laughs> I still have to watch. The present, the, I the never presenter died. <laughs> What? They just, what? They, in they, real life? They, they no, not in the, real life. They did like a pre, a pre-recorded like E3 panel, like it was like a spoof, like, like a Tim and Eric episode oh, type of okay. The lady's head fucking explodes at the end. <laughs> Very fake effect. It was clearly a rubber mask with like spaghetti and stuff flying out of it, but she good. died. I, don't watch that I just saw it in the lore. about it, and I'm like, Jeez. what the fuck is that? Apparently, you missed out. I love yeah. Devolver. Devolver's such a funny. They they had this fucking. Uh, shit like, uh... They publish a lot of indie games. Uh, Hotline Miami, Ranger Orange, and... What the fuck are you shooting her with? It's a... It's That's a, a gun, gun that shoots water. It's not a cone. <laughs> it looks like a cone. Oh, it's so that's why it's done, like, literally no damage. Yes. Oh, you're dead. Well... I died. Oh, and, uh, that is, that uh... Goodbye, shitty steampunk man. That's what Todd Howard is Todd Howard, buy my game! He's killing it. Buy my game He's again. killing it! Where's the new games, Todd? We got two. That's all. I mean... Skyrim. Uh, no Skyrim. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Before we stop. <laughs> what? The Elder Scrolls 6 is not in development. They oh, yeah. They're not making that it yet. They are not making it. They haven't even started. It's been six years. They're still trying to sell a Skyrim, and they haven't started on a sequel yet. Well, they got Elder Scrolls Online, my boys. Who else, sorry, what else do you need? I, mean, hey, that's I don't even play these fucking games, and I'm mad. <laughs> Hey, more time for Skyrim, right? I kind of want to go to the Bethesda subreddit now. Oh, I can't wait to get Skyrim on Switch. How's that? My controller vibrated off. Oh. I can't Whee! wait to pay sixty dollars to get a six-year-old game on Switch. Well, that be glitching open. screen. Don't uh, worry, be happy. <laughs> well, hopefully, we get at least a new Fallout soon. I yeah, can, I have no hope. I we can pray. No hope. We'll get Fallout Skyrim. No hope. Okay, just end the fucking. <laughs> I'm, I need to Bye.